Let's take a look at what's new in H2R Graphics version 2.9. I have the main window up in front of me here because I'm going to turn on one of the new features that made it back to this version. In the output section, I now have Draw On Screen. And you will have to enable this. It will be hidden by default, but you press Enable. And then you can draw on the screen. As you can see here, I'm drawing with my mouse. I can press the C button on my keyboard to clear that drawing, so long as this window is uh, active. But I can draw with my mouse. A couple of options in here. I can change the color of the drawing, so maybe I want to go for like a red, and then I can make it small sized. Back over to the window here, and you can see a small red color. In fact, if I change the color midway, you'll see that the red stuff stays, and now I can draw on this gray color. I can even change the size here and draw throughout, pressing the C button to clear that. One thing you might notice here is if I open one output and then I open another one, if I draw on one output, it doesn't show up on the other one. And that is by design so far because I don't want to affect all of the outputs on your project. I just want to affect the one that is uh, that you're drawing on. So for now, I've left it so it doesn't sync across outputs. So you could, in theory, draw different things or draw on some outputs and not others. But I'll be interested here on some feedback if you want to see that two-way sync happening. Next update to take a look at is over in the variables list, you'll now see I have row numbers added to each variable uh, row. That way you know what rows you're trying to impact. This has been a feature improvement because you might not remember which number it is here and you may have a long list. So now you can see what row number it is. And if you change, obviously, if you change things around, then rows get uh, changed. The numbers go with it as well. So now this is row two and this is row three. Something very useful if you're using this variable data in your graphics. Another update for credit users is there's no longer options here. So you can have up to 60 seconds of credits. And I've also made an improvement that means that it doesn't matter how long your credit roll is, it should show all of the names on the credits. Now that sounds pretty basic and uh, it definitely is something I wanted to add and make improvements from the start. But now an extra long credit roll will show all of the names in the credits, 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 credits. One final thing to mention here in this video is a pretty big update to the big timer section and the other timer section too. If in the past you were to create a two time of day countdown timer, and then choose something that was actually in the past. So maybe tomorrow morning at 1 a.m. I want to set a timer. Now, in the previous version of Fitstore Graphics, this would actually be considered in the past. So it wouldn't do anything when you clicked it on air. It would just go away again. But right now, I can change it to be a time that's technically in the past. And Fitstore Graphics will figure it out and decide that, that is in the future and it's tomorrow and it's 14 hours away. And this is perfect if you have multiple of these timers and maybe you're setting up on a practice day, you want to start a timer at um, 12, 30. Now this will work just fine as you would expect it to for today because that is one hour away from my current time. But if I come back again tomorrow and press that same timer, it will recalculate, update it to the next day and give me another countdown timer. If you've hit that issue before, you'll understand the fix here. If you haven't hit that issue before, not to worry should work as you expect it to work. One more nice improvement here to the big timer is if I show one that has a 50 second two time of day countdown, you'll see it ticks down as you'd expect it to. Now if I hide that, wait a few seconds and show it again, you'll see that the, uh, the circle fills up and then goes from the full position down again. So each time you reset it, it will do that just fine. Thanks as always for watching. If you have any improvements, ideas, features, or issues, just let me know. You can always report an issue through the application by clicking on this report issue little button here.